Hello and welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. And today we're going to be talking about a very forgotten horror movie that goes by two names. This movie came out in 1990 and it's known as either Baby Blood or The Evil Within. But before we get started, what are we drinking today? We're drinking Mr. Grimsdyke's Revenge, an English IPA. This movie was written and directed by Elaine Roback. Emmanuel Escuro is in it. So this movie kind of starts off in Africa where all these people are trapping these animals and putting them in this cage. And you don't really see what the animal is. You kind of see it from the animal's POV. The animal gets transported to the circus where it's being sold to be a circus animal. We get introduced to our main character here, Yonka, and she's a circus performer. And you can tell right away she's on the scale because she's got to stay thin and yeah. healthy and taking these pills. She's dating this fucking asshole. Super asshole guy. He's all rough with her and yeah. these guys peeking in at her. You're like looking at little girls. Yeah, he's all beating them up <laughs> and pushing them against the trailer. We see all this blood dripping out of the animal cage. And we see the animal and it's almost like exploded from the inside. Yeah. You see this kind of weird snake thing get into Yonka's trailer through like the window and the vents and everything. And <laughs> yeah. She's sleeping and it goes into her bed and goes up in between her legs and... Yonka flees the circus. She takes off and we find her a month later living in this weird abandoned building, this weird apartment. It's all run down and these weird people are living there. That woman with yeah. teeth are all rotten. Yeah, and she's all laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Her old asshole boyfriend is trying to track her down, and he does track her down to this apartment. She lets him in, pulls out this knife and stabs him in the gut. And then you can hear this entity start talking to her. Oh, I need the blood. I know you don't want to do it, but I need it to be born. She goes nuts and takes his knife and just stabs the hell out of this poor guy. Yeah, she just goes wild. Packs up and flees again, <laughs> flees the scene. And she comes across this bum, sleeping. And the entity is, I need the blood. You <laughs> need to kill him for me. I need the blood to be born. She picks up this broken beer bottle and she's gonna kill him, but she puts it down, goes to the water, and just jumps in and tries to commit suicide. The entity won't let her. Yeah. Say, what are you doing, Yonka? I need you. Sometime later, we see that Yonka's become a waitress now. There's this guy that's, he's all eating there. He's got some sick mustache and yeah. he's some loser. <laughs> he's dating the cashier. And he's kind of gets the hots for Yonka and starts kind of pursuing her. Yonka's on the street and she starts talking to the entity that's inside her and they're kind of starting to bond a little bit at this point. If I move around like this, is that pleasurable for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the entity still needs her to kill for him. Find somebody in the subway, trying to kiss him a little bit, and when he gets closer, she takes a knife and stabs him right in the neck from, like, above. And all these people walk in, and she starts kissing him while all the blood's yeah. coming out. Yonka starts going out with that loser guy, not looking at her eyes. He's yeah. looking somewhere yeah. else. And she's <laughs> all guzzling that wine and yeah. you can see in his face he's all upset it probably cost him a fortune <laughs> yeah. Yonka's in the kitchen the boyfriend guy comes in and wants to like marry her he's like I think we have something good here he's all in his <laughs> gitch and everything he's all in his underwear his tidy whities and this is only like the first date or whatever <laughs> yeah. he all wants to marry her yeah. you see the camera with the knife go into his stomach and yeah. stab him a bunch of times she packs her shit up and she's gone again Yonka has become a cab driver now and she picks somebody up on the street and then she sees somebody jogging and she just runs right into him like against a brick wall <laughs> yeah. the guy in the cab takes off he ends up freaks out yeah, he, he ends up getting hit by a truck <laughs> <laughs> Later it cuts to Yonka sitting on a bench and she's having like a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the entity and the entity is starting to say well it's getting close now Yonka I'm gonna be born soon, but I need to get to the sea. But I need blood, too, to stay strong and healthy. You still need to get me blood. And she notices a blood bank bus. And she steals this gun from this little bastard, this fake gun. Gets onto the bus and hijacks the whole bus while this guy is still all attached to all the <laughs> blood equipment. And she takes all these, like, bags full of blood and starts drinking them. And then she gets an idea to drive the entity to the sea in the bus. 
and that's where we're going to end the plot because uh, it gets crazier yet. Yeah, it gets pretty <laughs> wild. The final act in this movie is um, mwah. <laughs> you found this movie actually just by chance on VHS at the flea market and mm -hmm. picked it up on a complete whim. Yeah, it was a lucky find. I wasn't going to do it either because the back kind of looks a little cheesy. It's kind of hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. It's not on any streaming service that we can find. I think it might be on Amazon Prime and Shutter, but we don't have those. So I borrowed the VHS to you to do the review. You refused to give it back! I was gonna give it back? Didn't mean you had to hijack all my beer and hold it hostage. Yes, it did. There's my man! Where is the tape? What? Where is the tape? Where is the tape? I said only you inside, Adam! Fuck you. You're gonna blow it, Adam! I said only you inside! Fuck you. What's going on? Only you inside! You don't make the rules here today, baby! You're blowing it, Adam! You're gonna blow the deal, man! Come on, baby. Mind your daddy. I just want to show you who's going to watch this VHS here today. The rules are you're going to cut it loose right now and you're going to send it out with me on my bike. Those are the rules, Adam. What, am I supposed to swallow that bullshit? Cut it loose or she's going to be the highest priced VHS in history because I'm going to drink all this shit up. What? Well, we're killing each other. I'm going to drink your shit, man. Bullshit, man. First we load up, then I cut it loose. Come on, passion fruit. And I got these babies down here. Martinis. Mixed with your gin and your vermouth. I mix this shit extra strong. It's like napalm. I'll get Mondo here to sneeze, baby. Who loves you, baby? You'll end up with that VHS up your ass. Cut it the fuck loose. You don't have it in you, baby. You want to fucking try me? I ain't got a goddamn thing to lose. What the fuck, hey? What the fuck are you doing? Kiss the first beer goodbye, daddy-o. Don't fucking do it, man! Woo, Adam, hey! I'm getting drunk off your shit, man! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Put down the beer! Put down the fucking beer, I'll cut it loose! I ain't got a sober day to lose! I'm gonna cut it loose, goddammit! This is what happens when you put a sober man in a position he's not gonna win! Anyway, man. Hold on a second. I'm gonna cut it loose. I'm gonna cut it loose. God damn you. This one's done, man. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, everybody, fucking relax. God damn you. Adam, cool it. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going after number two now. Put that bear down. I told you I'm gonna cut it loose. Then fucking do it. I'm gonna cut it loose. God damn you. God damn you! Now cut it loose! I told you! I told you I'm gonna cut it loose! I'm gonna cut it loose! Then quit your crying and cut it loose! Alright? Let's calm down. Let's do the deal. You're gonna bring your bike in here. We're gonna load this shit up. Then we're out of here together on separate bikes. Alright, baby. We're gonna cut you loose, baby. So, why should you check out Baby Blood, a.k.a. The Evil Within? <laughs> well, one of the best things about this movie is that it actually has an extremely simple plot. The plot just revolves around Yonka getting victims to feed the entity inside her. How the movie revolves around her. It's visually a very interesting movie, makes this very simple plot very interesting. Yeah, you know? yeah. The woman who plays Yonka... She's a, basically a one-woman show, and there's little side characters that kind of feed into the story here and there just on her travels yeah. that just keep you entertained enough, yeah. right? And all those side characters are great. Yeah. The asshole boyfriend at the beginning, the other boyfriend guy, the mustache guy, <laughs> he's a funny character. Like, all the characters are quirky and funny. Things evolve, too, in the movie, where at first she doesn't want to kill, but then later as she starts to get this symbiotic relationship with the entity, and then she ends up almost liking yeah. killing. Wants to kill herself over it all, but then later on she's kind of fine with it. She's at peace yeah. with giving birth to this 
whatever it is. You don't know what it is mm -hmm. until the end. <laughs> Another neat thing about this movie too is like how Justin said, it's yeah, it's a one woman show, but she doesn't do much talking, which is interesting. Mostly silent. Yeah. And reacting to the entity who you don't see, but you always hear. So you always hear the entity and always see Yonka. The visuals for this movie are really good, very interesting. It's yeah. dark and gritty. It's a really gritty movie. But then when there's a kill and it's this magnificent, colorful bloodbath mm -hmm. that kind of like makes it a really bright, colorful movie at times. So it's really neat how it does that. The grittiness, it all makes sense too, because it's not like Yonka's rich here. She's in these derelict buildings and shit, right? Yeah, so it all, all ties in. All the settings are really gritty and disgusting and like poor type settings gives the movie that gritty feel to it the kills for this movie are awesome they're all awesome and they're all different and inventive too every kill is shot completely different there's the first kill you have with that boyfriend guy where she just goes to town on him stabs the shit yeah. out of him and the cool thing about that kill it's not like it's a big gore fest well it's gory but you don't see much effects. It's all in her performance mm -hmm. of how she's going crazy while stabbing this guy, losing her mind. As she starts to warm up to killing, it sort of flips, right? Where she's almost calm about it. There's a great kill where she strangles this old lady with a, a phone cord. It doesn't sound all that elaborate or cool, but it's just the way it's shot, which is neat, because it comes out of nowhere. The old lady's like taking Yonka in because she's sick and she's going to call for some help. Mm -hmm. And just out of nowhere, as soon as she picks up the phone, the yeah. cord's around her neck and she's strangling her. It's all in the way it's shot and delivered. Yeah. Doesn't need to be a bloodbath to be a cool kill. There's another great kill. She's in the back of this ambulance and she takes like the oxygen mask and puts it <laughs> over this guy's face and holds it there. Turns up the oxygen super high and he's all, Ooh, and you see his <laughs> veins starting to pop up. Then you see the, just the back of the ambulance. Boom! All his blood. <laughs> It's awesome! That entire yeah. paramedic ambulance scene is great. The final act of this movie is great that takes place on this bus with all these football players. And it's basically just a massacre. <laughs> yeah. And it gets way out of hand. That final scene is a magnificent bloodbath. Perfect send-off for this whole movie, yeah. really. How well it's paced. It starts off kind of small and simple, and it the pacing just keeps getting better and yeah. better, and it ramps up. Yeah. And it never lets go, either. The way it starts off is nowhere close to the way it ends. No, In no. any shape or form. No, the characters are different yeah. by this point. Everything. Yeah. The effects for this movie, too, are fucking awesome. Like, there's a dream sequence where Yonka is dreaming of giving birth to this entity and these hands come out of her sides and they're all reaching for the sky it's like holy yeah. shit after the baby gets born it kind of sheds its skin or something <laughs> and then she looks in the car and sees this weird baby skin all bubbling <laughs> and like it looks really cool yeah yeah <laughs> i love that too because it's like Okay, so now, if it shed that baby skin, what does it look like now? Yeah, yeah, what is it now? <laughs> yeah. At the end, you actually see what this entity looks like, and that's another great effect. Yeah. It's a great practical puppet-style effect. The humor in this movie is actually really good, too, and it's subtle. It's not in your face, but it kind of always revolves around these idiot men. <laughs> and that's another thing about this movie, is it really seems to be commentary on men. Every man in this movie is an idiot or a complete asshole, mm -hmm. wants to take advantage of her, wants her just for her body. There's not one redeeming male in this movie. That's right, yeah. And you don't actually feel bad for any of the victims, no, to be honest. No. That's why, right? Yeah. They're supposed to be idiots, losers. Yeah. Yeah. They, <laughs> they have what's coming to them. So if you're in the mood for like a really gritty, but exciting bloodbath of a movie, definitely check out The Evil Within, a.k.a. Baby Blood. It's a great French movie. Not one of those movies where it's like, oh, this awful dubbing. I'm completely fine with the way this movie's dubbed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound foreign, really, yeah. or anything. It yeah. sounds great. Super complex for the type of movie that it is, right? Yeah. And it'll keep you on the edge of your seat. It did have a sequel called Lady Blood, which we haven't seen, but we've heard is horrible. This is a really hard movie to find, and if you do find the VHS and borrow it out, 
please give it back. And until next time, keep drinking. Thank <laughs> you.